Today we're gonna be going over daily nutrition for cutting. Now, the first thing that you have to have in mind, have to keep in mind, is that the main rule when it comes to weight loss and fat loss is being in a calorie deficit. So in order for you to find out how many calories you need to be consuming in order to be in a calorie deficit, you can either use a calorie calculator online or you can go by trial and error. But the most important thing is that you have some sort of data you can reference back to so that you can make the changes that you need to make in order to get the goal, the, the results that you want. If you have the formula and you have the amount of calories you need to be eating, next step is weighing yourself every day and seeing how your calorie consumption equates to your weight loss, weight gain, or maintenance. So you have to see, you have to be able to reference back to the scale to see if what you're doing is working. If it's not, if the scale's not moving, you have to reduce your calorie intake or increase the amount of exercise that you do in a day or increase the amount of movement that you do in a day via walking more, fidgeting more, stepping more, getting up more during the day. So those are the, the two parts of the equation that you really gotta control. How much energy is coming in, how much energy is going out. And not necessarily from, from a very specific standpoint, but just being mindful of those things uh, so that you can, so that you can make the changes that you need. Now that we have that out of the way, uh, let's talk about specific diet, uh, specific diet advice. You know, I am a big proponent in making sure that the diet that you choose fits your lifestyle and your food preferences more than you picking a diet at random that's most likely a fad diet and not being able to stick to it because either your lifestyle doesn't, or doesn't uh, align with it either, either because you're starting to crave certain foods that you've purposefully removed from your diet in order to uh, adhere to this one particular method. So rather than doing that, you want to optimize your environment. You want to optimize, you want to choose a diet that, that is in line with what, with what you can do and what, with what you like. Because ultimately the most important thing when it comes to weight loss, like I said, is the overall amount of calories that you're putting inside of your body. So a lot of people, a lot of people ask themselves whether or not they can lose weight and eat dessert or whether or not they can lose weight and drink a, a glass of wine or, or, you know, have a cheat meal or eat a burger here and there. And the answer is, is yes, you can as long as you take into account the overall amount of calories that you're consuming in a day. In fact, there's research that shows uh, that when we control all of the calories that go in, so we, there was a group of athletes that was kept in a lab for a week and they were given nothing but junk food, I think it was McDonald's, nothing but junk food, and at the end, but still in a calorie deficit, and at the end of the week, they all lost weight and they improved all their blood markers. So we know that as long as we adhere to being in a calorie deficit, that's the most important thing. So what are some of the things that you can do in order to stay in a calorie deficit? Uh, walk more, eat protein with all of your meals, drink enough water, be okay with being hungry, and change the way that your kitchen is arranged so that you don't have the temptation uh, or, or the easiness of reaching out for those things that are likely to put you, to tip you off and uh, take you out of a, out of being in a calorie deficit. Now that we have that out of the way, let's take a look at what's inside my kitchen and what a day uh, in my life of eating looks like. So I feel like I have to explain myself as to why all of my meals are frozen, prepackaged. I'm not much of a cook myself. I can cook, okay? I can do it. If I wanted to, if I put my mind to it, I could do it, all right? Let me just get that out of the way. And in fact, hey, Hayden can tell you that I cook pretty good, especially Venezuelan food, oh my God. So American breakfast, we're gonna start with 320 calories, 25 grams of protein, 23 grams of, of carbs, 14 grams of fat, three grams of fiber, 500 milligrams of sodium. Pretty solid breakfast, if you ask me. Really good start of the day. All right, so for lunch, we're gonna have bison patties. <clears throat> these patties are four ounces each so it's a pretty good portion it's about 30 grams of or sorry 25 grams of protein per patty makes it solid probably have two of those for uh, lunch gonna pair that with some rice and vegetables okay then for dinner 
Gonna have shredded chicken. Probably gonna saute this with some soy sauce uh, and this zucchini. And for carbs, we're gonna have some sweet potato. I'm gonna add to this meal also a couple hard boiled eggs to increase the amount of fat content in the meal because the chicken breast doesn't have much. So <clears throat> wanna make sure that I'm consuming at least 20 to 30% of my total daily calorie intake uh, in the form of fats just for performance, health benefits. Usually at dinner, I break it down into a three course meal that I have across the entire night. So starting at 6 p.m., that's the first course. So that's gonna be the chicken, veggies, and uh, potatoes and eggs. And then likely, I'll have something like a, like a pizza, you know, but, but not, not, not your average uh, um, greasy New York pizza. I'm gonna have this pizza that, look how thin it is. It's a thin, super thin crust pizza. It really isn't greasy at all. Yeah, is it, um, am I gonna be estimating more than usual? How many calories there are in here? Yes. Is it the end of the world? No, for some it might be, not for me. Um, but I, I trust that by the end of the day, I'm I still under eight comparatively to the amount of exercise that I do in a day. So I'm pretty confident that I can have, you know, a treat or two at the end of the day if I'm still hungry. That's my daily nutrition for a weight cut. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop it down below. I'll do my best to get back to every one of you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And as always, thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video.